guys how are you it's tony yes another recipe it's all on the same day guys so yeah um so i have done three this will make the third video today my name is tony welcome to my channel welcome back to my steady i am doing vegan keto this week and i am making spaghetti squash with a tomato sauce so we're gonna have basically making spaghetti and so i've preheated my oven to 400 degrees and we're going to coat these in some olive oil i've just cut it in half and then took out all the seeds and pits in the center and i'm going to get the olive oil or the avocado oil i'm going to use and then some salt and pepper and we'll get these ready for the oven be right back okay family here is our sp sp spaghetti spaghetti squash and we're just i'm we're almost out of avocado oil y'all we're almost out of olive oil too we're gonna have to get our life right so we're just gonna put some oil on here and we're gonna get dirty we're just gonna rub it all in i think i put too much that's okay we'll spread some of that over here and just make sure it's all covered let's get some of this out too much i complain i'm running out of avocado oil and i pour it everywhere typical all right so now we're just going to salt and pepper these. We're going to cook them on their fit turned over anyway, so any extra oil can run out. So we're going to salt these generously. And this is the worst pepper grinder ever, but we're going to get some pepper on here. Probably have to do some more after I film this because this thing takes forever. Look at this. I need a better pepper grinder. Send help. I need a new pepper grinder, guys. All right, that's good to go. All right, so we got that. We're gonna get these turned over on the front, just like so. And then I go, ooh, I didn't, I did wash this, but I forgot to take the sticker. It doesn't matter, we're not gonna eat that part. Okay, so I'm gonna stick this in the oven, 400 degrees for 25 minutes, and then we'll poke it from the backside with a fork. When it's soft, you'll know it's done. See you in about 35 minutes. Hey family, so we've got pork tender and we are gonna let these cool, we'll flip them over and then we'll start our sauce. This took about 40 minutes. Okay guys, so you just take your fork and you just run it through the squash and, and there you go. These are your, this is your spaghetti noodles for your vegan spaghetti. It's also low carb, keto, all the things. It is absolutely fabulous. So I'm gonna let this cool off. It's really hot to the touch. So I'm gonna let this cool off. I'm going to um, come back and we'll work on the sauce. Guys, we're gonna get our sauce pan going here and we're gonna start getting us some, we're just going to use a jar sauce and we're going to zhuzh it up. Zhuzh, that's a word. So we're going to get some avocado oil heating up here. I have, some, I'm cheating. I have some frozen already chopped onions. Um, all I have is red onion in there and I wasn't looking to put red onion in the spaghetti. So um, we're going to use this. We already had it. We may as well. Um, so these are frozen. So I'm gonna throw them in there as soon as this gets warm it's gonna crackle and spit and pop a little bit because of the water crystals so i am going to be back once our mushrooms are sauteing we are also going to saute some i mean some onions and then we're also going to saute some mushrooms in here and then add our sauce so for our sauce where are you sauce there you are we are going to use this organic it's Muir Glen Organic Italian Herb Pasta Sauce, no sugar added. It's eight carbs, two fiber, so it's six net carbs for a half a cup. And I don't even use a half a cup on one per serving, so we're good there. Everything is organic. It's very clean ingredients. If you wanted to see those, they're right there. So we're good to go with this. We're just going to zhuzh up a little with some onions and some mushrooms because we're not adding meat so that will beef it up just a little bit and that will be our sauce for spaghetti 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 squash if i could say it all right guys i'll see you back in a minute after we snap crackle pop some onions okay family so now we are going to add i just chopped up three 
good sized mushrooms. We're gonna add these in here. We got a good tablespoon of garlic. And we're just gonna get this all sauteed up here. I turned the heat down a little bit. So we're gonna get this all sauteed and these mushrooms kind of get them softened up and then we'll add our sauce. Let it all come to a heat and a heat. <laughs> let it all come to a simmer and uh, then reduce the heat. Put the lid on and let all these flavors marry in together with the sauce. I'm going to be adding about a cup of sauce because this is only for me and I'm going to use it for the spaghetti squash for four portions. So this will be four days of dinners. Um, I'm going to put them in meal prep containers. Have one for this evening. So this is vegan keto dinner. Almost done. Quick and easy. Okay, we added our, we've added our one cup of spaghetti sauce. We're just gonna get all this mixed together. You could put more if you want more. I ain't trying to get heartburn. <laughs> so after, once I get these on the actual, I'm gonna sprinkle it with just a little bit of some vegan mozzarella. And uh, let that get all melted and yummy on top of there and it is bon appetit i'll be back with a picture of the finished product i'm gonna let this simmer for about 15 minutes okay guys guess what here is our spaghetti squash vegan keto spaghetti i guess we use spaghetti squash for the noodles and our zhuzhed up jar sauce and we are good guys who i am red i've been cooking all day I'm gonna go enjoy this for my dinner and we're just about for black light records to go on for his monetization party this stuff is steaming that's just a little bit of vegan mozzarella cheese isn't that look yummy okay guys well if you like this video give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you're not already click that bell when you know when i post something new and as i say i mean with my whole whole heart thank you so much